YouTube, how's it going? My name is Violet. If you're new here, welcome. I love reviewing skincare and makeup products on my channel, so if this is your first time here, you know what to expect. It's gonna be good times. I love shopping at Winners. If you've been here a while, you know that. And I also love finding diamonds in the rough. I love hunting for treasure in terms of makeup and skincare products. In the past, I found a Too Faced Peach Blush and I found an Alginus Primer and they were both interesting products. Winners really does have interesting products. And today, I wanted to go over and a couple of other interesting products, all right? Mana Kadar makeup. There was a ton of Mana Kadar makeup. This was $10 for this pack at Winners. And on her website, she's charging $50. And I'm just like, that's a huge disparity. That is a lot bigger than I'm used to seeing for Winners. So when I was looking it up, I had to read this box because the description is ridiculous. Mana Kadar hair hailing from Paris, France is a seasoned beauty vet transforming A-list celebrities in film, fashion, and beauty with her signature beauty simplified. She's highly sought after. She is trying to give you the ability to do your makeup in under five minutes. All right then. Add latest innovation in lipsticks, creamy semi-matte formula, pigment that lasts all day long, paraben-free, allergy tested. You can see all the lips here. Right out of the box, you know, you open them in. Oh, these are incredibly lightweight. I'm super used to the really thick packaging from Too Faced and even ColourPop. They've got really thick lipstick bullets that feel really nice. And these, my daughter got into this. This is like the saddest thing ever. It doesn't look like that. That's my two-year-old. It looks more like this. Two-year-old is less interested in this color. But uh, the bullets don't feel really nice, okay? If the makeup performs well, who cares about the packaging. Am I right? I was curious. The price disparity was huge from what she thought she could sell her makeup for and what she was actually getting at Winners. So, Manakadar, I wanted to see what you're all about. I'm going to swatch the colors on my arm and hopefully see without some of this lipstick abuse. I'm so sorry. What a naughty, naughty two-year-old. All right, so I've got this nice, beautiful red. All right, and that color was Karma. And then this sparkly pink called a fair. Okay. And these are the lip lock priming lipsticks I've got here. I should probably mention that. Okay, and we've got Aura. Alright, the last. Okay. And love. Okay, let's see. So these are supposed to last all day and be nice and soft and matte on the lips. So we're definitely gonna test that out. We're also gonna test out this eyeshadow palette I grabbed. It's got eye and cheek on it. It's the Goddess Mirror Mirror palette, which somehow felt appropriate to me. I don't know why, I mean, it looks pretty cool. You've got your mirror and your colors. This like reminds me of Too Faced packaging. The brush does not feel very nice, I'll be honest. It's very plasticky. Comes with a little blush brush. You know when you see the shape, it's like the kiss of death. It's like, okay, I'm not sure if this is gonna be any good. But that doesn't matter. We're going to do the swatches for the eyeshadows. They don't have any names, so I'm gonna start in the top corner, left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. Top of my arm to the bottom of my arm. There's a lot of colors. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, Matte taupe. Oh, fortunately, I put it all the way up to my eyebrow, but what can you do? You just have to keep on keeping on. This dark orangey thing on the inner and outer corners. This kind of sparkly. Thing. I'm just gonna use my finger in the middle. It's nice and gold. Oh dear. That was a little more intense than I expected. The inner corner. I'm gonna use this sparkly shade right here. The second one. Very neutrally palette, which I'm kind of digging today. And go into the lower lash line a little bit. The blush brush, and we'll go in with this uh, pink color on my cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I just did that.
This is a very pigmented blush. Don't do what I just did. Oh my gosh. So rosy. Okay, I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'm gonna go with Aura. I wanna see how it wears over the day. All right. This uh, natural light should give you a really good sense of how the makeup looks after one hour. You can see the eyeshadow and the lipstick after one hour. How we doing? Might be hard to see because it is more neutral tones at the gate, but uh, yeah, this is okay. Lovely. So we're back from the zoo and I've had my makeup on now seven hours. So let's just take a look at the eyeshadow. It still looks neutral mm. and the blush I don't think I fixed that very well but you know I... I don't hate it I'd say the lipsticks pretty much worn off completely and I haven't reapplied it at all so I think there was a little bit left around one o'clock but I just ate some food and it's gone so yeah uh, no weird reactions or anything it's looking okay. Well, here is my Mana Kadar makeup at the very end of the day. I had to reapply the lipstick because let me tell you, it didn't last after about six hours. But the eyeshadow still looks pretty pretty. And the blush, you know, as it's faded, it's better. I actually think it's really nice and subtle. The eyeshadow worked better than I expected and I think that maybe she sacrificed on some of the niceties of packaging and really went for a higher quality product. I don't know for sure. I really don't know, you guys. I think my experience with makeup is limited enough that I am going more by my feelings. I went for a very neutral look with a very neutral palette and I'm very happy, but that might just be because you can't tell how badly I applied the product today. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Have you used the Mana Kadar collection? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Am I missing something really obvious here or is it actually pretty okay? Cause I mean, 14 hours into my day of makeup and you still got eyeshadow, it's not all gone. I only had to replay the lipstick one and a half times and it's looking pretty. Okay, I did use a different color the second time. I'm sorry, I just had to try it. Anyways, if you haven't already, please like my video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I think it's so awesome to give makeup that is just seems out of place a try, right? When you see something that doesn't make sense, I'd love to know, like, what is what is that doing here? Mana Qatar, Google it. It's expensive, but it's so cheap here. I just had to know. I don't know. I'd love to know what you think.